ओके लेट्स टॉक अबाउट दोज ग्रीन एंड अदर कलरफुल लाइन्स अपियरिंग ऑन वन प्लस स्मार्टफोन एंड इवन ऑन अदर स्मार्टफोन नाउ वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन अ डेडिकेटेड वीडियो ऑन दैट इन पास्ट बट रिसेंटली वी केम अक्रॉस दैट सेम इशू इज ऑल्सो सीन ऑन नथिंग फोन विद रिसेंट अपडेट ऑफ नथिंग ओ एस वन डॉट फाइव डॉट सिक्स फॉर नथिंग फोन वी आर स्टिल ट्राइंग टू फाइंड आउट वेदर इट हैज बीन कॉज ड्यू टू द फिजिकल डैमेज और इट्स एन इशू विद दी सॉफ्टवेयर इट सेल्फ अनलाइक अदर स्मार्टफोन कंपनीज इन दिस वीडियो विल टॉक अबाउट वाई दीज कलर लाइन्स आर अपियरिंग which devices are being affected is there any fix or not whether you can get the free replacement of the screen how can you avoid this issue occurring on your device and whether you can get the green line again if you have already replaced the screen so make sure to watch the entire video without skipping anything because we'll be covering almost everything in this video so without wasting any more time now let's get started so you all know this thing of green line another colorful line issue got highlighted from oneplus 8 series and see here i'm not defaming any brand i have a huge family of oneplus users and i've seen a lot of users facing those issues and everything started with the update of android 12 and android 13 few users got this issue with android 12 and few users are still facing the issue even after oxygen os 13.1 which is based on android 13 and initially even i thought it is because of the color os code base because in past we have seen many other issues rising up after the merge of color os code base but that wasn't the thing this is mostly seen with the amoled displays and we have also seen this issue with oled panels too still none of the brands have step ahead to give their explanation as to why these things are happening if you go to twitter and type green line you will see thousands of posts from individuals there are some lucky users who got the screen replacement free of cost we'll talk about the free replacement in a while first let's talk about what are the possibilities that these things are appearing on smartphones nowadays so first one is related to software so these line might be caused by an software update but what i feel is it may be possible but then i also have a second thought if it is a software issue then it should have affected almost every device running the same software version including my phone i have almost every oneplus smartphone and i keep my device updated before you guys for the purpose of video and till date i haven't faced any kind of issues with any of my oneplus smart phone it may or may not be a factor but it's still possible that green line issues are occurring because of the software updates as some phone uses specific pattern in their screens if the update messes up with the electricity settings or the voltage then it can cause these lines to form as this thing is still not confirmed by any of the brand and you all know with what kind of knowledge people work in service centers taking an example of oneplus service center i personally faced that once i got the crash dump message on my oneplus 7 pro so just to test out i went oneplus service center and their service guy had only one word to say that motherboard have been affected the motherboard needs to be replaced in most of the cases of crash dump you can easily fix your device with the msm tool which was already present for oneplus 7 pro how many of you guys agree with this point that service centers are meant to extract your money do let me know in the comment section below because this was my first experience with service center and that's what i have seen and i also met few people there having the green line on their phone including oneplus 8t and even oneplus 9r Though for those people screen replacement was done free of cost but there was a silly suggestion by service center guys that do not update your device until this thing is fixed but we haven't seen any kind of official statement from oneplus if it's a software issue i would ask oneplus if you guys don't want me to update my device to the latest builds or the latest security patches for my safety then why should i even buy your device come on oneplus now talking about the second possibility which is related to physical damage so this is again a possibility i'll come to the conclusion at the end of the video but initially first possibility was software there also we have 50 50 doubt and next possibility is the physical damage if you drop your phone or put too much of pressure on it you might see these lines it could be due to something inside the phone getting loose or broken that's why brands like oneplus refuse to replace the screen if you have any dent on your device they don't care it was before the update or after the update if they see any water or physical damage then forget about your free screen replacement from oneplus these lines can also appear if you accidentally pierce the display but that can also be easily noticed by the service 
esteem if you guys remember i broke two of my phones one is this one plus 11 you can see the broken back panel it's completely shattered and still this device is fully functional and the second one is my samsung s23 ultra you can see the crack in the screen and after this crack also i did not see any kind of screen related issue on my s23 ultra and the third possibility is excessive heating of your device which might have caused the green line issue or any other color line issue on your smartphone but still again i feel if heating was an issue then why did my device did not get the green line because i play a lot of bgmi and sometimes I have also observed device temperature going above 45 degrees Celsius. But on the other hand, I've also seen people who don't play BGMI, they have the green line or pink line issues on their smartphones. Then why is these green line or pink line issues appearing on OnePlus and other brands? So after doing a little bit of research, I feel that it's mostly an issue of the AMOLED panels combined with the changes done in software for better display experience and the changes in voltage or current while updating or after updating that phone if you guys go back most of the issues were reported this year after the month of march where summer kicks in allowing phones to heat more while updating so it's not a single factor that is causing these issues but it's a combination of changes done in the os heating of the device the way panels are manufactured and why i am saying the os is also responsible for the same thing because i have seen a user who updated to oxygen os 13.1 because of the fear of green line he downgraded his device to oxygen os 11 and soon he downgraded he got to see the pink line on his particular unit so here i think heating and voltages might be responsible for this issue big brands should work on it with display manufacturers to know what's causing this issue and they should know the root cause or release a statement that they will hold all the updates until this thing is being rectified i also request all the brands to kindly provide a free screen replacement at least for once to the affected customers or the affected phones we all know it's not easy to earn 30 to 40k and then spending that amount to purchase your device and later if anything is caused for which customer was not responsible then again you guys ask 15 to 20k for the screen replacement we have seen in past that big big brands have come down because their customers were not satisfied for you guys priority should be given to customer satisfaction if we are not happy you guys lose more there are multiple brands available in the market in that price segment as said it's not only oneplus who has these issues of green line or other colorful lines we have seen vivo oppo even motorola iphone samsung all of them comes under the same category and now we have a new joinee in this club which is nothing phone one few months back there was a nothing user who had no damage on his device but he was having a same green line issue which he's seen on oneplus smartphones we still don't have any update of that customer whether the screen was replaced or not though we have covered that in our complete article and two days back i tweeted about another issue on nothing phone one as per the customer that appeared after updating the device to the latest build but there was a black patch towards the bottom side which indicates a physical damage but we cannot say whether it is a physical damage or not he's already sent that device to service center let those guys decide whether it's a physical damage or anything related to software i'll keep you guys posted on my twitter handle so if you guys haven't followed me there make sure to follow me on twitter too and for your nothing phone one and nothing phone two always use a good quality case because those two phones are very slippery and can easily fall causing physical damage so be very careful with your nothing phone one and nothing phone two and now let's talk about whether you can fix those issues with the software update or software downgrade so there's an answer for that and that's big no you cannot fix that once physical damage have occurred on your device then you have only one thing to replace that particular unit or to replace that particular part but nowadays we have been seeing a lot of videos that there's a laser machine which can fix these lines issues colorful lines issues i mean to say on any smartphone but i have also seen that they charge 15 k and it's not available across india it's available in few states so instead of paying them 15 k you can either get a new screen replaced from the service center if you want to now let me tell you what you guys can do to avoid these lines appearing on your smartphone important thing is do not update your device hold the update for two three weeks see users feedback and then update your device also make sure to turn off auto update from the settings page 
Second thing you need to keep in mind, make sure your device temperature remains normal. Avoid using high performance mode on smartphones like OnePlus, Vivo, Oppo because they carry the same software with same features. So avoid using that mode. Third one is avoid using any kind of ADB commands to restrict the battery management system for better performance on your smartphone. I know everyone loves good performance on their device even I play BGMI and I don't like those frame drops. But this is not the right time to make any changes in the battery management system because that will not give you indications of overheating. The outer temperature of the device is always lower than the inner components. So anything can happen if you make any changes with the battery settings. And the fourth one is get a good case for your device which will give protection if you accidentally drop the device. You can also play safely with these brands. I have four suggestions for you guys. If you guys can do that and still if the brand denies to replace the screen, at least you have the options to fight legally. One of them is soon you watch this video if you have any OnePlus smartphone, doesn't matter whatever version it is running right now, take a proper video of your device and highlight on all the dents present on the device so that you can keep that thing as a proof and also make sure to show the time on your device, time and date and screen should be fully functional. If in future you get any line on your device, you can visit the service center and if they doesn't agree for free screen replacement, you can show them the video and you can tell them that I'll have to fight with you guys legally. We don't have any other option. Second thing, if you are using OnePlus smartphone from past two years, then I would say it's a right time to get it exchanged, move to a different brand because OnePlus also won't replace the screen if your device is more than three years from the date of purchase. We have some users on a Telegram group who has informed us about the same thing that customer service people have told after three years we cannot replace the screen. So keep this thing in mind. If you have sufficient budget to buy a different phone, you can put it for exchange or you can just sell the current phone on OLX and move to a different brand. It's not like I hate OnePlus. I've been using OnePlus smartphones from day one. I just want you guys to be on safer side and save your hard earned money. And if someone is planning to buy OnePlus 8 series or 9 series, I would say right now avoid them because these were the two series which were most affected with these colorful lines. And the fourth one, if you are updating your device, make sure you record the entire video until the installation process is completed and your device boots back. That also you can produce as a proof if they deny to replace the screen. Turn off auto update overnight and also if you have updated do not downgrade your device. So guys these were few things which you can do if you are worried about these green line and other colorful line issues. These are our thoughts about the green line and the other colorful lines appearing on OnePlus smartphones and I've also told you how you guys can play safe and avoid these things to occur on your particular smartphone. But we are still not 100% sure what exactly is causing these issues on almost 50% of smartphones. What do you guys think? Why these lines are appearing on smartphones? Let us know in the comment section below. And now if you guys enjoyed this video and found it informative, then do not forget to hit the like button and also consider subscribing. This is your friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go, go, go.